Hey everybody and welcome. This is Victoria at Radiant Moon Tarot. Today we're here to do a January 2021 forecast for all Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This reading will incorporate career and finance and also love reading for both um, couples and singles. Usually I like to separate these videos, but um, uh, these, they take a very long time to upload and I'm already kind of a couple days behind from where I really intended to be. So uh, we're just gonna be a little more time efficient for the upload portion of these for today. So let's get right into it. As always, this is a general and intuitive reading, so not every message will resonate with every single person. Take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. So I'm gonna pull everyone a spirit animal message for the month of January. What does Capricorn need to know for January 2021, please? Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Messages for Capricorn. Not all three. It's a little bit too many. <laughs> all right. Messages for Capricorn, please. And we have a platypus. Stop complaining and focus your attention on the blessings in your life. All right. <clears throat> a little bit of a stern admonishment there from spirit oh okay and i have another one that escaped so i think i'm going to read that one too interesting polar bear stand up for yourself and speak your truth respectfully and compassionately with no attachment to the outcome all right if these want to come out they are going to come out all right so that's your message from your spirit guides, spirit animal guides this month. And so now I'm going to pull out a couple of oracle cards, one for career and finance and one for love, and then we'll pull tarot as well. Yeah, okay. Um, career and finance, we have milk and honey. Milk and honey, that's wonderful. Now we'll pull for love, please. Capricorn, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. And we have blessed. Oh, beautiful energy. All right, beautiful. Okay. So let's get right into this one. All right, career and finance. We have milk and honey. This is abundance. This is prosperity. This is um, whatever you're working on, okay? If you are looking for a job, you have something good coming your way, all right? Uh, your investments coming to fruition here anything that you happen to be working on all right in regards to your career and finance this is wonderful energy bountiful energy all right um if you have a project almost coming to completion this is you getting your just rewards your accolades for that all right so i'm actually going to read the deeper message for you from the book for that one uh, <clears throat> let's see here all right. Prosperity message. There is only one authentic you. This version of yourself is spirit's emissary in the world. When you're in alignment with the truth that you are a unique expression of the divine, your ego can rest and your soul can illuminate your purpose. Now is the time when you're seeking your true north. When you find this direction, you automatically step into prosperity and the world brings you evidence of abundance. Miracles are a choice and a way of seeing the world. With every choice you make right now, you have the potential to seize good fortune and embrace your destiny. Opportunities will lead you to your best life now. Be open to them. You're getting a sweet taste of what you want. All right, wonderful energy coming out for you with that card. So let's pull you some tarot. Messages for Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What do we need to know? What do we need to know the most, please? All right. Thank you, Spirit. So, your current energy. <clears throat> judgment. <laughs> All right. That's been showing up quite a bit in these readings, just so you know. Your current obstacles and challenges is the Seven of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles is blessings coming your way. And your potential outcome, the Eight of Pentacles. Very nice. Very nice. 
and I'm just going to clarify these right off the bat and then we'll walk you through them. <clears throat> Judgment is clarified by the Hierophant. Wow, okay. The Seven of Pentacles is clarified by the Seven of Swords. The Three of Pentacles is clarified by the Three of Swords. And don't be afraid there because that's in your blessings position, so that's a good thing. Oh, wow. And the Wheel of Fortune clarifies the Eight of Pentacles. That's in your potential outcome. All right. Wonderful messages there. Okie doke. So... Coming out in your uh, current energy, your current situation here, we have the Judgment and the Hierophant, okay? These are very, uh, very spiritual um, energies that are coming out here. So it feels like a lot of you, you are trying to make decisions that are authentic and true and that um, put you in alignment with your uh, life's purpose, Okay, um, puts you in alignment with something that you believe in, right? The higher fant is about believing in that higher power about um, structure and um, uh, it's, it's a very religious card actually, um, but it high spiritual um, energy also, okay? But it's also about belief, okay? So um, it's almost as though, <clears throat> excuse me, it's almost as though here that you've seen the light, perhaps the perhaps the career path that you previously followed, perhaps all you ever did was just chase money or um, uh, take any job that was available just because you needed one, all right, which is certainly understandable also, all right, but, um, but it feels like here that you've come to some sort of epiphany, some sort of awakening here. And that's exactly what judgment is. It's an awakening. And it looks like you're um, looking at your past, okay? And you're following a different purpose, all right? You're standing in your truth here and you're required to be really honest with yourself and really evaluate your belief systems, okay? And this can be for whether you are looking for a job, if you're in your current uh, career, current corporation, Okay, or even where you want to put your money, where you want to put your time, energy, and investments in, all right? You're looking for that. You're looking for a higher purpose than just money, okay? And as we heard in the milk and honey energy that already came out, right, you're, when you step into, perp, into alignment with um, your spiritual purpose, all right, um, then things can unfold for you, all right? So your challenge here, your challenge here, um, we have the seven of pentacles, all right? And it feels in this energy that your obstacle, I mean, it's relatively minor, but it's more of a mindset, okay? Um, it feels like you're a little bit unfocused here, a little bit confused, um, some of you may be thinking that, you know, oh, how come I'm not rich yet? Um, how come my windfall hasn't happened to me yet? Uh, I deserve this. I deserve this. But in the meantime, you're not really doing anything about it in this energy here. And that's not for everybody, but it's certainly for some of you. Okay. Um, because usually the seven of pentacles is, uh, if it's in the upright, okay, Usually it's about taking stock of a situation, looking at something honestly, waiting for your crops to grow, um, being very patient, a little bit grounded, um, but you're doing like some, almost like some mental work with that one, all right? But you're also, it's also the energy of you've done a lot of work and it's, it's a time of rest, but you're very focused. When it's in reverse, it feels like there's a lack of focus. Okay, a lack of focus, a lack of uh, clear direction, um, almost like a scattered energy. So it feels like here that some of you might need to regroup and refocus. Okay, maybe things aren't just quite happening the way that you want them. Okay, and let me point out some signif uh, something significant here. 
in this position we have uh, number 77 seven coming out okay in your blessings we have number th 33 coming out all right so in 33 is one of those master numbers um, and 77 typically 77 is a very uh, lucky number right lucky number seven okay so um, you have both a challenge and a blessing with those. So uh, if you're so inclined, I would certainly go and look up the deeper meanings of number 77 and number 33. 77 actually uh, is 14, which translates to a five, which is fives are about change. Okay, so, and it's interesting how it actually relates here because your obstacle is changing your way of thinking. Okay. Change your way of thinking to get clarity and get focus, all right? Stand in your authentic self and make sure that what you're choosing or what direction you're going in is in alignment with what is good for you, right? Don't lie to yourself. Don't sugarcoat your resume, okay? Um, because the Seven of Swords is that um, it can usually indicate that there's either you or someone around you that's not being authentic, not being truthful, being a little bit deceptive. And that can be self-deception too. So I would say here, if you've uh, fluffed up your resume, let me tell you, um, you will get your just rewards for any deception or falsehoods that you put out there, okay? Because we have judgment here and judgment is karma, right? You reap what you sow with that energy, okay? So uh, I would just say say that it's it's you know, uh, embellishing your resume is not going to get you a leg up. It might in the short term. Okay. It might in the short term, but, um, especially in this digital age that we live in any lies, they can be found. All right. All someone has to do is, uh, um, be a little bit of a, a super sleuth and things will come to light. So regain your focus. All right. Don't, don't sit in that energy that, um, you know, oh, things just aren't coming to me fast enough, or, you know, I'm just going to give up, or I'm not willing to put in the hard work, because that's what you need to do. And make sure that you're being honest and truthful with everything that you put yourself out there for, okay? And then you will reap your rewards, all right? So, benefiting you, okay? Blessings coming your way. There might be helpful people coming your way, okay, this three of pentacles can be about building a foundation, it can also be about learning something, all right, this can also be somebody here who uh, offers you an opportunity that maybe you previously didn't look at, all right, something a little more in alignment with where you either need or want to be, okay, and again, maybe something that you didn't previously look at, all right, and the Three of Swords usually is a very um, uh, frightful energy, okay? Um, because it usually deals with sadness and heartbreak and loss and depression. However, it's a blessing coming to you. So look for opportunities here that help you move forward, all right? And this brings you relief, okay? It brings you a bit of happiness. And so it's putting an end to um, a period of sadness and loss okay and it brings you out of that and into something better so it relieves you of that mental burden that you may currently have okay so um it brings you back into um being optimistic okay rather than pessimistic all right and you need that outlook in order to bring about the opportunities that you need all right so the three of pentacles by the way can also be um, your investment's growing, all right, if you're putting your money out somewhere, because again, if you are uh, putting your money into something that not only has the chance to bring you money back, of course, that's why you invest, um, but also something that maybe serves the higher good a little bit better, okay, maybe something community focused, because Three of Pentacles can be a, a community as well. All right, so maybe instead of investing in, I don't know, something on Wall Street, I'm not a not a stock person, okay, maybe you invest in some sort of um, community-based 
company or organization that actually gives back some of their profits to the community for the better good of, of humanity. All right. Um, but either way, that looks like there's growth coming in, stability, okay, and um, a bit of joy, okay, a bit of joy and happiness. Your potential outcome here, we have the Eight of Pentacles, right? Stay focused, right? Stay focused. And the Eight of Pentacles is um, for those of you looking for a job, all right? As long as you're standing in your authentic truth, be honest and truthful on your resume, in interviews, okay? Radiate that joy. Follow your purpose. And the Eight of Pentacles is you getting a new job. You're working hard. All right, you're working hard to build up your foundation, your fortune, okay, but at least you're working. All right, and um, if this is your investments, okay, this is, uh, it might be more of long-term investments, all right, but it's starting to grow, okay, it's starting to grow. And the thing is, we have the Wheel of Fortune here as well, and the Wheel of Fortune is because you have this energy of this very high vibrational energy here with judgment and the hierophant, right? That gives you that high vibe to change your fortune for the better, okay? This is like your ship's coming in here, all right? And you're living in that energy of prosperity and wealth and good luck, all right? And it's not good luck because you didn't do any work, right? You know, over here, oh, I just wish, you know, I wish I could have a fortune just land in my lap, Okay, it's not that kind of energy, but what this means is good fortune coming your way. So yes, your investments will grow, provided you choose from the heart and for your um, for your higher good, all right, and stay truthful and in alignment, right? And you know, if you're looking for that job, same kind of thing, right? This is your this is your destiny changing for the better because of work that you've put in, okay. Nothing, unfortunately, nothing in life is free, all right? But it's beautiful, prosperous energy here. So, and I will, and I will point out that we had, um, you know, both, both our spirit animal messages are actually applicable to this reading um, because we have platypus, right? Stop your complaining and focus your attention on your blessings. When you focus on your blessings instead of what you don't have yet, focus on your strengths, Okay, instead of what you don't have, then um, good things will continue to come your way because now you're focused on a good energy and not one of loss, right? You uh, attract back what you focus on, all right? And then, of course, we have polar bear as well. Speak your truth, okay? Speak your truth. And as long as you're truthful and authentic, all right, again, good things will come your way, all right? So that's what we have for your career in finance, and we're now going to move on to your love reading. All right, and this is for a, whether you're single or in a relationship, or I'll, I will um, cover both, okay? So before I do those, so we have blessed, and this is card 22, okay? So I'm going to once again kind of point out something very significant here. We have... 22 is a master builder number, okay? And this is that energy of uh, a spirit letting you know that you have everything that you need in order to succeed. Your dreams um, are turning into reality, all right? Um, it's kind of like a confidence boost, but it's also the reminder that you, um, you control turning your dreams into reality because you have all the tools that you need, okay? Um, and then of course we had 33 over here and also 77. Okay. So we do have quite a few repeating numbers out here for you. And to be quite honest, we also have three tens in essence. Judgment is two tens. It's a card 20. So it's 10, 10. And then wheel of fortune is also 10. So, um, tens are the end of a cycle and also the beginnings of something new. All right. And in your finance reading, that's a uh, very good energy to be in. Okay, so um, card number 22, blessed. This is such a beautiful energy, okay? Um, this can mean a couple of different things. But for one, if you are currently in a relationship, get ready to enter into a deeper level of intimacy, okay? Everything's in alignment. Um, 
you're on the same wavelength. All right. So, um, so you're experiencing or you will be experiencing just that higher level of commitment, understanding, looking out to the future. Um, you're just, you're in alignment with each other. All right. This can also be that energy, that reminder that, um, uh, either whether you're in a relationship or not, um, this is you stepping into that higher level of understanding with yourself, with your higher self and with spirit. All right. It's a very loving, beautiful energy. Okay. And for you singles out there. Okay. This can also be because you're in alignment with yourself, spirit and your needs. All right, this is one of those energies where you could, your next person that you attract or you could be attracting a person that is on your same wavelength, okay, on that same level of values that you have. All right, so let's pull some tarot and see where else we go. Messages for Capricorn, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What do we need to know for January 2021 for love, please? Messages for Capricorn. Messages for Capricorn. Your current situation. Beautiful. Queen of Pentacles. All right. Your current obstacle or challenge. We have the Knight of Swords. Blessings heading your way. Ah, we have Justice. Very nice. And... Your potential outcome here, we have the Queen of Swords. So I'm just going to pull the clarifiers for these and then we'll walk through these. Clarify the cards on the table here, please. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right. Queen of Pentacles clarified, wow, by the Nine of Cups. Wishes fulfilled, people. Wishes fulfilled. The Knight of Swords is clarified by the Magician. Justice is clarified by the lovers. Oh my God. Okay. Wow. That's awesome. All right. And Queen of uh, Swords is clarified by the High Priestess. Beautiful reading for you guys here. Okay. So let's, let's walk through. All right. Your current energy here. So if you're in a relationship, okay, you're very solid and stable you have everything going for you. Uh, you have a happy home life. Um, you have all the resources that you need. Uh, you're financially stable. Okay. And uh, you may be career focused, but um, the queen of pentacles is also a very nurturing energy as well. And also very grounded. Okay. Very successful and mature. So if this is, if this is you in a current relationship, it's, it's that level of maturity that, um, that it's grown into. Okay. Um, and the thing is, is that this gives you everything that you ever wished for. Okay. You and your partner, this is your wishes come true with your nine of, um, nine of cups here, right? It's, um, the nine of cups can actually be a little deceiving. All right. Because some people think, oh yeah, I made a wish and it came true. That's not really true because what this curtain on this table with all of those filled cups sitting on, what that curtain hides is all of the hard work, heartache, disappointment that you've been through along the way to get to this level of satisfaction. Okay. And that feeling that all of your wishes are finally coming true. Okay. So it's a little bit deceptive because it hides all that. Right. So um, the queen of pentacles energy, it's also that one of you've worked very hard to get where you are and it hasn't been easy and there's been ups and downs, ups and ups and downs financially and emotionally. Okay. But this is a very beautiful, um, very stable energy that you're in right now. If you're single, if you're single, congratulations, you look very self-sufficient. Okay. Um, you have your, you basically have your crap together. You know what you want, you know how to get it and you're very solid, stable. And again, you, you have a certain level of emotional fulfillment. It's, um, I feel in this energy here that whether you have a new person coming in or not, you can either take it or leave it. 
right? Because you have emotional fulfillment even without a significant other in your life. And it's a very nice, self-confident energy to be sitting in. It really is. So, your challenges are obstacles. So, the Knight of Swords is... Um, I feel in this instance here, um, the Knight of Swords is more an energy of a messenger, okay? Communication problems, communication issues. And we have the Magician here also. So the Magician is um, typically your manifestation, all right? Um, this is a very, it's a power card, okay? It's a power energy because the Magician is quite serious, um, has all the resources to make something out of nothing, turn dreams into reality. Okay. So for some of you, for some of you, that could be your issue right now is turning your dreams into reality. And perhaps for some of you, you're not quite, your thoughts maybe aren't quite in alignment with what you're trying to manifest. All right. And that can be, um, that can be, for example, um, so if you're single, and you're very secure on your own, all right? You're standing on your own two feet there, okay? But this could be that energy of, um, you know, oh, no, I'm good. I don't really need anybody. I'm so ha I'm happy. But really deep down, you actually kind of do want someone in your life, only because, not because you need to depend on anybody, but because sometimes it's just nice to be able to share your life with another person who also wants to share their life with you. But the problem is, if you're sitting in that kind of confused energy, you block your manifestation of someone new coming in for you. Okay. So I would in this, I would in this energy here, I would, um, try and realign your thoughts to look at your inner self, right? And you are coming into that energy where you are in alignment with your higher self and with spirit. Okay, and you can't lie, okay, because spirit knows. All right, and but just get your thoughts back in order so that you can manifest what you truly desire and what you truly need, okay? Um, for others of you, I feel that um, if you're in a relationship right now, again, communication could again be, be a little bit of an issue um, and you're trying to manifest something, um, like maybe you're trying to bring your communication to the, the, to the next, excuse me, to the next higher level, okay? And, um, you know, perhaps you're just not sure how to do that um, or you're hitting some roadblocks there or maybe it's just not going as fast as you want, right? Um, uh, especially with that uh, magician right there. It also feels for some of you here that you might just, again, with this, with this Knight of Swords being in your, your challenge position, um, it also feels like one or both of you um, in that relationship might be a little bit confused um, about perhaps what the other person is thinking or wanting or perhaps what direction the relationship is going in, right? Every relationship kind of, even relationships that are 20 years long, right? They evolve over time. They change over time because people change a little bit over time as well. All right, not your deep down fundamentals, but, um, you know, your wants and your needs and your desires. So it just feels like there's a little bit of, of uh, communication breakdown a little bit there. Not like really serious, but just a little bit. All right, but here's the wonderful thing. Okay, absolutely wonderful. So blessings coming your way. Okay, we have justice. Justice is card number 11. Uh, 11s are about new beginnings. All right. So it feels in this energy here um, because we do have a lot of very positive things here. Um, it feels as though there is a strong possibility for further commitment with you and your partner. Okay. Um, for singles, all right, for singles, uh, I would say here, Again, put your thoughts into alignment because sometimes this energy here can be a um, uh, little bit of a little bit of a reminder to um, be careful of what you're putting out there, and that's your thoughts as well as your actions. So if you put out confusion, you get confusion back. 
all right, if that makes sense to you. Um, but justice is very um, balanced and fair, but this is also the law of attraction card. So again, um, the magician is also law of attraction, all right? So make very sure um, that your thoughts and what you truly desire is in alignment with what you're trying to attract back in, or you'll end up blocking yourself. So I feel this is a miscommunication with spirit and you're not quite getting what you want because you're not truly in alignment with your true desires. Okay. Um, but this is incredibly powerful energies though. So, um, whether you need to get real with yourself, okay, get real with yourself. Um, again, focus your attention, right? And speak your truth, okay? Polar bear, right? That's that reminder. Stand up for yourself and speak your truth, okay? And that's to yourself also, okay? Because when you do that, justice brings you something balanced and fair and in alignment with your spiritual needs, your physical needs, your emotional needs, okay? And we also have the lovers, all right, very much in alignment with our blessed card here. This is, all right, we'll start with single since that's where we are, already are. Get your thoughts in alignment and realize what you truly, truly desire, okay? Because this is the possibility of a partner coming in for you, but not just any partner, not just any person. The lover's card, uh, for one, it's the card of Gemini. Okay, um, justice is Libra. So there could be a Gemini or a Libra coming in for you most, um, or they could have it in your chart, um, or it's just the energy, okay? But the lovers is that indicator of a soul partnership, all right? A deep soul connection with another person, all right? And it's soulmate energy, okay? So soulmates uh soulmates and twin flames um they're always they always get sent to us they always come into our life for a reason number one um we've typically known them in a past life somewhere okay um but there's there's a um hmm, there's a uh relationship that hasn't run its course lessons that haven't necessarily been learned yet there's something unfinished business Okay, so they're sent back to us again, all right? And they don't always last forever, just so you know. You know, someone can be your soulmate. They don't even need to be a lover, okay? You can have a soulmate that's a friend and that you have a truly deep connection with this person, kindred spirits, if you will, all right? But they don't necessarily have to be a lover, okay? This can also be your connection with your higher self, all right? But I feel for you in this energy, if you get true with yourself, all right, and get your thoughts in alignments with what you truly in what you truly want and need this is a potential soulmate energy coming in for you here all right favor because you've attracted this person in you've attracted this energy okay um for those of you in a relationship you'll get back on track you get back balanced again have a clear communication all right um because i don't feel this is like a huge hurdle to overcome there's just something just not quite right in alignment all right but it will be resolved very fair and very balanced all right and there's absolutely that level of potential further commitment because with the lovers card coming in okay that can be you and your partner really forming and bonding um, with that deep connection okay and that's in alignment with the blessed energy that we already have coming out all right and here's the thing. So Queen of Swords is one of our outcome energies. And the Queen of Swords has a very deep spiritual connection. Um, intuition is on point. Uh, this is a very mature, um, very powerful energy. All right. And the Queen of Swords uh, sees things very clearly. So if you notice here, we had your obstacle is the Knight of Swords. Okay. And you see how chaotic that energy looks and you know, kind of all over the place and that energy, you can even see it on the card, right? You can see it, it would be dash in, dash out, and um, sometimes not being 100% focused. And yet we graduate into the maturity and the power of the Queen of Swords, okay? So once you get your thoughts in alignment, you can stand in this powerful energy, 
All right, so this is your relationship maturing. This is your communication coming into alignment with both of you. Because again, it's a very soulful card as well. And we also have the uh, high priestess there as well. Okay, so the high priestess is very in tune with spirit, psychic abilities. Um, everything is in alignment, in balance. She has ultimate control over her emotions and the masculine and feminine, the yin and the yang are all in alignment here. Um, very in tune with the moon, uh, very spiritual energy here. Okay, so that's really nice to see that that, um, that that relationship can have this opportunity to graduate to this level. Okay, it's a really beautiful, deep spiritual connection. Okay, with clarity, purpose, and focus. All right. Um, if you're single, again, this is you stepping into your personal power. Okay, you know what you want. You know how to get it. Um, you're approachable, but you have a logical approach while also having this mystery about you a little bit. Okay, but again, you are attracting this energy into your life, provided you get your thoughts on point with what you truly desire. Okay, but it's a beautiful, wonderful outcome. So whether whether this lover's card for you singles, whether this lover's card is a person coming in for you, okay, let's check. Why don't we just let's check. Clarify the lovers for me, please. Clarify the lovers for me. We have the six of swords, the high priestess, and the world. Wow, okay. <laughs> Wow, or sorry, the Empress. Did I say High Priestess again? Okay. This is something that will take you to new heights, okay? Um, it could very well, it could very well be a person, and I, I'm again I'm getting I'm getting this energy that might be might be your connection with your higher self for some of you. Okay, but this is this is that energy that will take you somewhere. Okay, it's a forward moving energy, allows you to move out of troubled times or uncertainty or um, uh, any kind of rocky waters, even scattered thoughts, all right, into something new and something better and something calmer, all right? And the Empress is creation. The Empress is something new, okay? It's abundance. So it feels like you you again it can be either your connection with your higher self or for some of you it will be someone new coming in because the empress is new someone new okay so you could potentially be manifesting this new person into your life but they have uh they have some gifts as well all right they're not um they're not totally blind to uh their spiritual awareness okay but they are very grounded uh very in tune with nature actually so um, so you could end up, um, you could end up, uh, with someone who is absolutely on your plane. And let's just say also Empress is ruled by Venus and this is love. Okay. So we have the lovers and Venus coming out for you here. Okay. So, and then the world as well. And the world is, the world is that completion of a cycle. So if you've been alone for a long time, all right, we have, we have you moving on. We have you moving on to something better, a better way of life, a better way of thinking, a better partner than what you had before. All right. And the world is that completion of a life cycle. And we probably have a million of them through our lifetimes, right? But for now, this is that completion of that cycle. You've learned everything that you need to learn and you take those tools and that knowledge with you into your next cycle of learning, okay? Or your next relationship that you have. All right, but this is success and abundance right here, double, okay? And of course, lovers and also Venus. So uh, I think there's really good things coming in for you singles. All right, I truly do. Um, hmm. I will also say one more thing if, um, uh, because I did clarify the lovers. So some of you, just so you know, some of you with this cycle, if you've been trying to start a family or thinking of starting a family, um, that might happen for you this month, all right? That might happen because the Six of Swords, we actually have two adults and a child, 
okay, more conventional um, outlook on a family. But uh, the Empress is also a pregnancy card, okay, a family card, right? Because she actually does give birth to new things, creation, okay? And then, of course, we have this completion of this cycle. So if you are thinking of starting a family, um, January might be your month here, okay? So again, get your thoughts in alignment with what you're trying to manifest here, okay? All right, well, I'm going to leave it at that, and that's what I have for you guys. So I truly hope that you have a wonderful January. Um, uh, if there was messages in here for you, if you like my uh, content I create here, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Uh, there's a subscription button just right there. Uh, that truly helps me out, lets me know that you resonate with these readings as well. And I also love seeing your comments too. So um, I will leave it at that. And I thank you so much for watching. All the best for January and beyond. And I hope to see you again next time. Bye-bye.